Hey everybody! I'm heading to Denver International Airport to pick up some snakes. I thought you might want to ride along. Okay, everybody, so I just pulled up to the FedEx Drop Ship Center at Denver International Airport. Um, I'm gonna pick up some new snakes. They are expensive snakes, which is why I had them just left at the airport. I didn't want them going anywhere, but just the airport. <laughs> now, I live almost two hours away from the airport, so I'm going to be, um, I'm gonna be opening them in the car to make sure that they're okay. I brought some boxes, they're back there, to put them in. So, here we go. Okay guys, I've got them. This is the box. So, they came from Stanley at uh, SOS Amador and I don't know if he has um, if he has a YouTube or anything but anyway I need to open them now because my drive home is fairly long and I need to make sure that they're okay so here we go let's open them up He got it taped really good. I'm glad I brought scissors. <laughs> okay, other side. It's okay, guys. Your long trip is almost over. Okay. It says live harmless reptiles on here. I can't throw it like Brian Barczyk because I don't have anywhere to throw it. And he packed with paper. This is the first thing I saw when I opened it. I was like, what? Okay. So here they are. Okay. So first we will open the big girl. So this big girl, I can feel her. Um, she is a pastel pet clown. I'm starting the clown project, guys. Hold on here. He really got these sealed good. So he tied the bag and then he taped over the tie. So hold on, it's just taking me a minute. Sorry. This whole video is gonna be me trying to untie the bag. <laughs> okay. So anyway, she's not gonna look super amazing. She's just gonna look like a pastel, but she's a 100% hit clown and she is breeding size. So I can breed her this fall. Ooh, she is beautiful. Hello, beauty. Hello, beauty. And she just laid a clutch of eggs like a month or two ago, he said. Look how pretty she is. Ooh, she's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to put her in the box that I brought for her for the rest of the trip here. All right. So now, this is gonna be her mate. He's a baby, but he should be up to size, I would think, by fall. Okay, come on. Oh, she's so pretty. She looks great. Now I've got to 
untie this one. He is a super pastel leopard. Look at him. You are beautiful, buddy. Yes, you are. Oh my goodness, he's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to put him in the box that I brought for him. Move all this stuff so I can move that box up here. I want to make sure he's not flopping around the car. Oh, you are so beautiful, buddy. You are definitely... These guys are totally worth what I paid. So, hopefully next spring, we'll have clowns. And maybe leopard clowns. And maybe killer clowns. Because I have a super pastel head clown and pastel hat clown. So I'm hoping to get killer clowns and hopefully leopard clowns and maybe even killer leopard clowns. That would be awesome. All right, I've got to start driving back home now. I got back home and actually now I'm back at work. <laughs> I left work today to go to Denver and get those snakes. Um, ooh, that's a nice breeze. Anyway, um, I got them home. I set them up. Um, I did not take video of their weigh-ins, but he was 95 grams, so he is a hatchling, and she uh, was 1650. And her skin is definitely a little bit loose, like she definitely just laid eggs, but uh, we'll get her back up to size. <laughs> so I realized that I, I didn't say, I was just editing the video and I realized that I said super pastel leopard, but I forgot to say het clown. So they're both het clown. He's super pastel leopard, she's pastel, and they're both het clown. Um, so I want you guys to help me with a name for the male the super pastel leopard head clown. Um, give me your name ideas down in the comment section. And uh, um, SOS Amador does not have an Instagram or a YouTube, um, but I'll link his morph market. And I'm very pleased, I really am. <laughs> also, uh, you can tell I live in a rural area. <laughs> um, and when people say, oh, you live in Colorado, I love Colorado. They're thinking mountains. And I live way out on the plains and I figured showing you my driving would just let you see kind of where I live, which is not the mountains. Anyway, uh, unlike Chris Hardwick who lives in the gorgeous mountains, I live the other way. I live way out on the Eastern Plains. <laughs> so anyway, so give me your ideas for a male name. Um, I'll figure out a female name. Like I have a, I have kind of like a tradition now that all of my females are different fertility goddesses, except for Lilith, who was named my by my daughter because she was originally my daughter's snake um, until she got bit by her a few too many times and decided she didn't want her anymore. Now she's mine. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, share, like, all that stuff. Um, I'm super excited about my new snakes and I'll be doing an update on the hatchlings soon um, and some of them will be available for sale. So uh, talk to you later. Thanks.